Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazayas here from The Automator, and uh, we got an interesting question from EJ on YouTube here. They they said, you know, is there a way to use AutoHotKey to change the status to where you can make all the, the document files I download, because he, he downloads 50 Word docs per week into a folder, and then he wants to make it where they're editable, because when you download something from the internet, you know, good old Microsoft, and, and honestly, it, it's not a terrible idea. They created this um, download from the internet status. It's a flag that gets attached to files. And so it kind of helps you say, are you sure this is a safe file? Yeah. Um, so it was. A, it's an interesting solution that Isaiah is going to show. It's really simple. So um, check right. this out. So just to outline something before, and I think this is something when you talked to, about it, you were saying like, hey, I think there is a setting in Internet Explorer that we can set. And I think you mentioned that. Uh, Windows Explorer. Because, right, yeah. Windows Explorer, right? But the thing is that they, I think the newest versions of Microsoft Office particularly, they, they have these trusted folders kind of idea. They have a few of them by default. Anything that is not in any of those folders get flagged as, hey, this is not trusted because those files can contain uh, macros, right? So, and you, you don't want all every single macro running on your computer because you don't know what it is, right? So let me go ahead and show you here on the downloads folder. I just downloaded something from the internet. It is an outline document. Now, if I double click on it, Word automatically is gonna ask me if this is actually safe or whatever, and it will enter into this viewing mode by default, which you can switch to editing if you click on enable editing. Now, if you downloaded 50 files, but, <laughs> it was his issue, you will have to do this for each of them. I want to say also, because it's it's not, to me, that obvious, this top you know warning. Oh, and yeah. you'll click into it, and you're trying to work, and you're like, why can't I, why can't I? Oh, yeah, I got to click this stupid thing. Up right, top. and not only that, if you click here, it's just going to give you inter information. Not right. act you have to click on enable right. editing. And doing that for 50 files, for example, is going to be kind of like a very annoying kind of thing. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to file. We're going to go, I think, to options, right? Uh, usually my resolution is too small. Usually that button is visible right away. But you can go here to trust center. Click on trust center settings and go to trusted locations. This is the folder that I was so referring 80 to. 80 clicks later. Yeah, no, and, and there's a few more left because right. now, and now you have to click on add a new location and it's not gonna ask you for the location. Now it's gonna give you another one that is gonna ask you for the location. So there's a bunch of clicks for it. But for example, if I select the downloads folder, I say, okay, and I select, hey, all the subfolders are trusted. I wouldn't recommend this if you don't know what you're doing. If right. I know, like every time I download something, it's going to go to that folder. And I know that I'm not going to open anything, uh, you know, that I don't know, then yeah, that makes sense. If you trust the folder and you know, then go ahead and do that. Hit OK. Now hit OK. And OK again, <laughs> 10 clicks later. We'll now, give you a script for that just to hit OK every time. Yeah. But now let's go ahead and close this up. Right. And you will notice that now if I double click on the file, it is going to enter into the edit mode directly. So it's not asking me about this protection thing because now um, the whole folder is trusted and any document that is there is going to uh, be trusted or editable by default. You can switch between modes here, um, but this is something that you would have to do for each of the Microsoft programs. So in Excel, you would have to do this. And in Word, you would have to do this. In PowerPoint, you would have to do this. It's not a setting that affects all of them at once. It's per... Uh, program. So, but, but it's a very simple thing. Once you do it once, now you don't have to worry about it anymore. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for sharing that. If you learned yeah. something here, please like the video, comment below of like what a time saver this is. Cause <laughs> honestly, like it, it never even occurred to me that I'd want to have a setting with, I mean, I know I've always mm. wanted it. I've just never thought like, let's take a second to go see how to do this. Because oh no, I actually really spent too much time trying to figure that one out. I actually had to Google wow. and people were actually saying, as you say, the registry and stuff like that, because at that point there was no option. Now this is a little bit easier. Well, of course, this has been a few years now, yeah, like five, time, 10 yeah. years, right? Yeah. But at that time when they were giving the answers, probably there was no. So every single answer I found was not about going to the trusted locations. Right. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure this one out. So everyone comment below. Thank you for Isaiah to have <laughs> figured this out at some point. But thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.